today I'm going to teach you a couple of open position blues licks in the style of Stevie Ray Vaughan that will sound amazing on a Strat and even more amazing on one that is tuned down to E flat like mine will be for all of this video. Today's video is sponsored by Neural DSP. I'm using their Archetype Cory Wong plugin for all of the tones that you hear in this video and you're going to hear more about that later on. Both of these licks will be in the key of E flat but of course they will work well transposed up to E if you're playing in standard tuning. And what do I mean by open position blues licks? Well an open scale position is one that is found close to the nut that has a lot of options for notes that could be played as open strings as opposed to fretted notes and I'll elaborate on that a bit further once you've heard the two licks that I'm going to teach you in this video. quickly before we jump into the first lick I just want to elaborate on what I mean by open scale positions and open position blues licks. So we're in E flat and tuned a half step down so this is a great key for open string blues licks because if I play you the E flat blues scale in position one in the open position as opposed to the fretted one up here I literally just played all six of the open strings there and that's because they are all notes that are found within the E flat blues scale, the minor pentatonic, the major pentatonic, you know, all of the scales that we use in our blues solos. So the notes that we're dealing with in these licks are mostly based out of the E flat blues scale, but I'm also adding in the major third of E flat, which you could view as coming from the major pentatonic or the mixolydian mode. So here's, um the E flat major pentatonic scale. There's the first major third there. There's another one right there. And another one at fret four on the high E string. Now, a really easy way of locating major thirds and by the way, incorporating both flat thirds and major thirds, that's a very, very common thing to do in blues playing. But a really easy way of locating them on the fretboard is just to find the flat third of the, the blues scale or the minor pentatonic, which is this note here. If you know where those notes are, all you have to do to find the major third is just move one fret higher. All right, let's take a look at the licks now. So here's lick number one, played a couple of times, once to tempo and then slowed down. So we start out with this on the B and high E strings. So we're getting both the open B and open high E strings right away there. And the notes that I'm fretting here, you'll notice that I'm applying a very slight bend to each of those notes. So I'm starting on the flat third of the scale and bending up ever so slightly so that I'm almost matching the pitch of that major third, which is a note I just talked about earlier, but I'm not getting quite there. It's just, uh, I guess you would call it like a microtonal bend. And I'm doing the same thing to this note here. In the next part of the lick, got a couple of grace notes going on there and you can learn all about grace notes in the lesson that I just did on the playing style of Chris Buck. I'll add in a link somewhere up here. Um, but we start out with a grace note slide starting from the flat five moving down one fret on the uh, G string. And then we play this. The other grace note that we have there is that hammer on from zero to one 
on the G string, or from the flat third to the major third. <laughs> So together with the first part. And the final part of the lick is a sort of descending blue scale run which goes like this. So we've got a nice hammer on and pull off to the flat five of the blue scale on the A string there. I can't remember if I did this in the original recording, but when I did this part, you could also add in a bit of a double stop there at fret two on the B and G strings, as opposed to, the choice is yours whether or not you want to incorporate that double stop or just leave it as a single note. But to pick that double stop, you're gonna have to, um, sort of use your uh, a couple of fingers on your picking hand to pick those notes on the B and G strings. But again, you could also just leave it as, as this. All right, let's listen to lick number one, one more time. Before we move on to lick number two, this video is sponsored by Neural DSP. I am using their Archetype Corey Wong signature plugin for all of the tones that you hear in this video. I've actually already made an SRV style lesson using this plugin before, and that was to do with the song Lenny. And when I was putting that video together and coming up with a tone from this plugin, I was blown away at how close I was able to get to that original album recording tone. The preset that I'm using for this video is very similar to the one that I put together for that Lenny video. I'm using the same amp snob head, the same mics and the same cab. The differences are that I'm using a much shorter reverb. I've pushed the mix of the delay ever so slightly and I've also turned up the input control on the plugin which is very useful for pushing the amp a bit harder or pushing your pickups a bit harder and squeezing out some more natural overdrive if you have you know, lower output pickups on your guitar. It's really useful for that. You can download my preset for free via the link in the description box. So if you're in the market for an incredibly versatile guitar plugin that will cover a lot of ground style Realistically, I would highly recommend that you check out the Archetype Corey Wong plugin and I'm not just saying that because I'm being paid to make this video. Um, I've actually used this plugin on quite a lot of unsponsored videos on this channel just because I love the way that it sounds and uh, John, my cameraman over here, he was blown away by the sound of this plug in the first time that he heard it. So uh, yeah, shout out to Neural DSP for sponsoring another video on the channel. You can find out more about this plugin via the link in the description box. All right, and let's move on to lick number two. number two contains a very signature Stevie Ray move and that is incorporating the nine and flat nine of the scale well into the into the blue scale the, the nine and flat nine or the major second and flat second those are notes that are not really found within the blue scale or the minor pentatonic but the way that Stevie adds them in to his blues licks is it's just become such a common thing for blues players to do. And the second you hear someone doing this, or something like that, you know, your mind immediately goes to Stevie Ray Vaughan. And that's exactly, you know, the type of spirit that I wanted to capture with this lick. So the nine, if you want to find it on the fretboard, is just one fret below the flat third, which as we already talked about earlier, is this note here. Incorporating these notes is something that you would usually only do or I can only think of examples of him doing it on the, playing these notes on the high E string specifically. So the flat third on the high E string is here. And the ninth of E flat is the note F, which is here, just a fret lower than the flat third. And the flat nine is one fret below that. 
So I start out with a whole step bend on the G string and that leads me into the part of the lick that features the nine and flat nine. <laughs> After that, I play this. So already we've got a lot of open string stuff happening here. And then I finish the lick like this. Now this note here, that's a, a G flat, or it would be a G if you were playing in standard tuning. Now that could be played as an open string, technically, but because I'm leaning on that note for so long, I just don't think it would actually sound that good. It sounds better to my ears if you just, you know, really grip that note and add some wide vibrato to it. If you guys are interested in learning more licks like the ones that we've gone over in this free YouTube lesson, then head over to the extra section of bulletproofguitarplayer.com and there you will find three bonus lick lessons inspired by Stevie Ray Vaughan that they're all to do with open position blues licks. You know, it's exactly the type of stuff that we've been going over in this free YouTube video. And you'll also find the tab files for everything played in this video, including the intro solo, as well as a downloadable file for the backing track so that you can practice these licks yourself at home. I'm adding bonus content to the site all the time these days. So if you wanna become a member, you have two options for subscribing to the site. One is a monthly plan, which is 12 US dollars per month. And the other is an annual plan, which is 120. US dollars per year and that gives you 12 months of site access for the price of 10. And by the way, both of those plans give you full access to everything found on the site and there are no contracts so you're not locked into anything you can cancel at any time. Thank you guys again so much for watching today's video and thanks again to Neural DSP for sponsoring another video on the channel. Please like and subscribe for more and I will see you in the next one.